Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and these are going to be our 2020 year overview videos. These are extremely important because we are coming into an era that some people are coining the golden era, you know, a quest towards the golden consciousness, all of those things. So we're going to see a lot of density blowing out of our lives, out of our world, and it might throw you off a little bit. So I wanted to do these videos so that you could be prepared <laughs> and you could have your energy set so that, you know, as things start to unfold, you can go with the flow, you can observe without investing and you'll be okay. All right. These are not scary times. These are not, this is not a threat. These are not videos to be like danger, 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 watch out. No, 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 no. It's not about that. It's about being in your awareness. So through these videos, it's my hope and my intention that this gives you uh, some bit of good information, something that will help you per sign. <laughs> and that's just to divvy up the audience. That way I can focus in on different energetic groups and, you know, make sure you're watching for your sun, your moon, your rising. You might want to watch for your Venus sign, you know, whatever works for you. But hopefully the information that comes through is exactly what you need to hear throughout the year to help you remain centered and be able to roll with whatever's coming right? <laughs> so if you would like to get a personal reading with me, you can just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. I will leave information in the description box below on courses. I may be putting out some courses having to do with getting prepared for 2020 and lots of other things. There's tons, there's a huge library of stuff there. So go check that out. And of course, if you'd like to support me on Patreon, I'll leave all that information down below as well. If you want to just support me by subscribing and hitting that like, that's awesome too. So let's get into it. Hi, this is Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on for you for 2020. But before we get into it, please make sure that you go and watch my video about 2020 to 2024. That will lay the basis for these videos. All right. Make sure you're checking out your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus sign, whatever works for you. Go and check them out. Also, we need to talk about how to listen to these videos. All right. If you're listening to this from an egotistical standpoint, a shallow standpoint, I just want to be on the surface level of my life. Um, just tell me what's going to happen. All those things you're going to miss it. You're going to miss some very important information here because we are talking about higher consciousness. What's actually happening on a deeper level it has nothing to do with the surface level of your life. It might have some effect in one way or another, but this is about doing the best for your soul so that you can activate your light and contribute to the collective soul, right? The oversoul. And it's time for us to activate that and get going on it. So <laughs> let's not make this about whether that guy likes me or if I'm going to have money or if I'm going to, this is something deeper. Not that those things are bad. I'm just saying not here, not today. All right. So let's get you some cards and let's see what is going on for you. I have a hair tickling me. Hold on. Got you. Oh, you guys ever do that where like a hair, you can't find it and it's like somewhere, but it's like, where is it? <laughs> First try. All right. Back to what we're talking about for 2020. That should do it about right there. All right, guys, let's see. We have the real you. Yep. So it is time to drop all those conventions, all those things that uh, people tell you you should want, that you should be doing, all of that. So you're letting that go. Acceptance. Oh my gosh. Acceptance of the real you. Look at your story that's coming out here. Gaia, being very grounded, getting back to basics. That's what it feels like for you guys. This is a year of simplifying. Uh, simplifying, yeah, maybe your external world, but really simplifying um, the, your spiritual practice even. And the pressure you might put on yourself to make something happen you're done with that now. So then we have universal Christ and there is that. So this is essentially, you know, what I was saying about all of us trying to activate our light. And we've been talking about this for a long time. Raise your frequency, raise your frequency, all that stuff. But really the way that you do that is by becoming the real you, by allowing the authentic you to come forward. Not the you that was taught when you were young, that you have to be thin to be pretty or that, you know, you're not allowed to be gay or you can't, you know, not that person that's been trained, right? And might have some resentment and anger within you. But 
stripping that away, going, okay, I learned my lesson from the pain body. I'm now ready to move on from the pain body. I'm now ready to get into that higher consciousness. Now let's talk about that. <laughs> the higher consciousness, we talk about it being higher, but it's not actually, it's in us. It's already there, uh, but we choose to see it or don't. So I've been giving this example quite a lot. You know, if you're with somebody who um, chooses to be in their ego all the time and you try to be like, hey, well, what about this perspective? And they just jump on you and, Arr. you know, those are people, that's kind of like what we do as humans now. We're just not ready to see it. We're just not ready to witness. We're not ready to be integrated into our authentic selves until now, right? <laughs> and going on into 2020. So this is that time of you understanding that you as a human, it's a beautiful thing and you don't have to run away from it. So that's in stark contrast to what we were doing in 2012, right? In 2012, it was like, try to escape being human at all costs, whether that means you're an alien, even if you're not. Um, I bet the real aliens would be like, excuse me, <laughs> we have to live in secret, which is how you knew that a lot of people who were coming out and saying that they were extraterrestrials or EDs, extra dimensionals, uh, you know, claiming that, it wasn't likely because those people, of course, they walk amongst us on the earth, but, um, they, um, come on, we can't be the only ones in the universe. That's just, that's silly, <laughs> right? Um, but they would have to be quiet about it. So that's how you knew people were coming from the ego. And as I said, that 2012 escapism thing, it was the era of the comfort guru, right? Um, the only people, teachers, authors that held any value were the ones that put things gently um, and people who were a little more blunt, people went after them. They wanted to tear them down. Well, now we're in a different time. Now we're in a time where, again, you're, you're understanding and appreciating your physical aspect. You're understanding and appreciating the real you, at least the real you as is being expressed at this time. Okay. And so that realization is really going to kick you over into the next card in your story <laughs> is acceptance. And look at this. It's starting anew. It's not being afraid. Uh, she's naked. She's exposed. She's not trying to, yeah, they're, they're coming back to the original sin and they're saying the original sin, uh, where you were supposed to be ashamed for being naked. That's, that's being done away with now. If you were super Christian and you're like, how dare you blasphemy? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Okay. That, that's, there is a reversal of the shame. There's a reversal of the guilt. And it's not going back and saying that Christianity was, rah, you know, it's not saying that. It's just saying that you can be free of this now. All right. So however you want to interpret that, by all means, go ahead. Um, we have Gaia right here. So this is getting back to basics, cleaning up your life a little bit, cleansing your energy quite a bit. And I find that, uh, I feel like a lot of you out there are going to start letting go of maybe your material possessions. Now having material possessions is not a bad thing, okay? <laughs> it's not, it's the reason why you have them, all right? I drive what would be considered a luxury car. And when people see that, they, I think, get this thing in their head that, uh, number one, that I'm rich and I'm not, or that um, I have it as a status symbol. I have it because it was one of the top rated cars when I was shopping for one. I didn't have money for a luxury car. I manifested it. Hey, um, <laughs> I did. I ended up uh, spending for that car what I would have probably spent on a very nice Jetta. All right. So, I mean, it, it ended up not costing me any more than a regular car, but people tend to have their ideas about things. So for you guys, you're letting go of what people think of you, number one, and them judging you. You will bring into your world what feels right, what feels comforting, uh, and you'll leave the rest. And if that means that, you know what, I have kind of a small house, but I ended up getting a good deal on a luxury car. Hey, there's your life. Okay. <laughs> it is what it is, but you're disconnecting from the supposed importance of material things. Okay. And this is opening up something in you. Okay. It's not just the material aspect that's opening this up, but there's going to be a process this year of, doesn't that look like I just put that head on my, on my shoulders. That is too funny and weird all at the same time. 
but there we go. Hey, <laughs> this is <laughs> whatever. So <laughs> this is opening up because it's just time. It's just time for you to understand that deeper wisdom. This has become an ego pursuit for a lot of people in the spiritual community. Um, you know, I, I've just grown tired of it. As a matter of fact, when people try to get to know me and the first thing they lead with is like, I'm in my Christ consciousness. If you were in your Christ consciousness, you wouldn't have said that, okay? <laughs> We could talk about how delicious this latte is because that's more real. That's where we are. If you're leading with, I'm in my Christ consciousness, you're trying to impress me. Okay. And you're very transparent. So let's ease into this. It's not something to put ourselves above others. It's, it's for your own joy. It's for your own happiness. Uh, and that happiness will contribute to the collective happiness and rising frequencies. Okay, or raising frequencies. Oh, look at that, it popped right out. Brilliance, discover your sparkle, the number is 26. This is beautiful, guys. You are shedding everything that doesn't work for you. Um, and you're not, oops, sorry, I've been having an issue with my lens focusing. What is the deal here? Let me pull it away. Oh, it's got me in perfect focus, here we go. <laughs> so anyway, let's see if, there we go. Um, so this brilliance, you're discovering who you really are. You're discovering what's true. You're discovering what really matters, all right? And everything else, like the waterfall, is in fact falling away. And it's beautiful, and don't fight it. See, that's what people do. When things actually start flowing, and it starts making sense, and it's like, okay, I, I feel like I'm in my authentic nature, they might get a bill in the mail and go, oh gosh, you know what, I don't make enough money. Ah, you know? And now they forget themselves, they forget their soul. And this is a year where you can start having that deeper understanding and staying in that deeper understanding. And it's not a mental pursuit. It's not something that you have to think about to make it happen. You're just getting tuned up to your actual frequency. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.